we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section quadratic equations the problem has appeared in joint entrance examination main held on 27th july 2021 in the morning shift the problem is let alpha beta be two roots of the equation x square plus 20 to the power of 1 by 4 x plus 5 to the power of 1 by 2 is equal to 0 then alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 is equal to the four options are given to us option 1 50 option 2 160 option 3 100 option 4 10 we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail the given quadratic equation is this equation and let's call this equation as 1 and it is given alpha and beta are the two roots of this equation since alpha is a root of this equation alpha satisfies this equation so wherever there is alpha you just wherever there is x you just write alpha and that will be alpha square plus 20 to the power of 1 by 4 times alpha into 5 to the power of 1 by 2 now send this 20 to the power of 1 by 4 into alpha to the right hand side then it will be alpha square plus 5 to the power of 1 by 2 that is root 5 is equal to minus 20 to the power of 1 by 4 into alpha squaring on both sides we get alpha square plus root 5 whole square is equal to minus whole square minus 1 whole square is plus 1 and 20 to the power of 1 by 4 whole square is 20 to the power of 1 by 2 alpha whole square is alpha square now 20 to the power of 1 by 2 is 2 root 5 and uh, alpha and expanding this is this alpha square plus root 5 whole square alpha power 4 plus 2 root 5 into alpha square root 5 whole square that is 5 is equal to 2 root 5 alpha square cancelling 2 root 5 alpha square on both sides we get alpha power 4 is equal to minus 5 and we want alpha to the power of 8 plus beta to the power of 8 therefore square now alpha power 4 then you'll get alpha power 8 is equal to 25 similarly beta is also a root of it therefore beta satisfies uh, all these equations and ultimately you get beta to the power of 8 is equal to 25 now adding these two we get alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 is equal to 25 plus 25 is equal to 50 that's your answer this is one method of doing this question i'll show you an alternate method the aliter and uh, we have that uh, equation quadratic equation you are given alpha and beta are the two roots of this equation one then we write uh, normally the intermediate student will write uh, alpha plus beta that is the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to my, is equal to minus b by a that is minus the coefficient of x by the leading coefficient and that is alpha plus beta is equal to minus 20 to the power of 1 by 4 and the product of the roots alpha beta is equal to c by a that is 5 to the power of 1 by 2 that is root 5 and normally from alpha plus beta we will try to get alpha square plus beta square we know this formula alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 times alpha beta and alpha plus beta whole square alpha plus beta whole square is 20 to the power of 1 by 4 whole square and that is 20 to the power of 1 by 2 minus 2 alpha beta that is 2 into alpha beta is uh, root 5 and uh, this is uh, zero because 20 to the power of 1 by 2 is 2 root 5 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5 is zero and 
Now, alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 is equal to alpha square plus beta square whole square minus 2 times alpha square beta square and substituting the values, we will get 0 minus 2 into alpha square beta square. The alpha beta is root 5, alpha square beta square is 5 and uh, minus 2 into 5 minus 10. From here, we get alpha to the power of 8 plus beta to the power of 8 is equal to alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4 whole square minus 2 times alpha power 4 beta to the power of 4. Substituting the values, we will get uh, alpha, to the, alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4 is minus 10 whole square that is 100 minus 2 into alpha power 4 beta to the power of 4 is 5 square that is 25 and that is 100 minus 50 that is equal to 50. So that is your answer alpha to the power of 8 plus beta to the power of 8 is 50 and that is your answer. Look at our options and uh, our answer 50 appears against the option 1 therefore our final answer is option 1. So, this is the second method of uh, you know, doing it and uh, whichever is convenient for you, whichever you like it and you can do it and practice more number of problems on these lines and I am sure you have understood the solution of this problem in these two methods and uh, go on working out some more problems on these lines. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.